Greetings friends and fellow gamers and welcome to Reapers and Renegades 125th episode. I'm Adam, your host, and today we're on Days Gone Again. And of course, if you enjoy this episode, then please remember to hit that like button. It really does help the channel a lot, guys and girls. And if you're new to the channel, then please remember to hit that subscribe button for regular episodes on the games we all love to play. And also please remember to hit that bell for notifications of our latest episodes. Okay, so today we're going to be returning once again to the challenges. Now, I know you're all thinking, why is he going back to the challenges? He's already got all the goals and done tutorials, etc. Now, the reason for this is, um, not on the last mini so, but on the episode before, there was someone who commented, that why did I speed up the footage? And obviously, I realised when I looked back, I sped it up originally because I felt it would be a good idea to do it as... Um, I saw highlights of how I got my very first gold run because I was then, obviously, as you know, I then did a blow-by-blow -blow tutorial of how to get a similar score, and we actually improved the score. I said at the time by 25,000, bad maths on my part, it was by 15,000, 165 to 180, obviously. Uh, and then in the last mini so now I did speak that that episode up, but that was only purely to keep it down to the space of a mini so because I, I ran it at double speed. But again, I had a few people comment to me, um, you know, complain that it would have been easier for them if I'd done it. So I decided, right, what we do for today's episode is we're going to go in, I'm going to do exactly what I did before to get my 200k plus, and I'm going to show you how to get a 200k plus all golds, so bolted, untouchable, in scope, and needless ricks, all gold, and obviously a gold rank with a 200k plus score. In today's episode, that's what we're going to do. Right, so again, we're going to be using the newly reskinned since the update, Sarah, and the newly reskinned um, Highway to Hell, but we've got the level three Fleur de Lis, which means that we should be able to get up to three kills with a single crossbow bolt. And we've got the Lionheart, um, which will give us 25 restoration, uh, sorry, focus restoration. In other words, giving us 25 focus back for every kill we get whilst we're using a focus cocktail. And obviously this is the first challenge where we've actually had them. Right, so let's get cracking. Right, holding down the square to activate the start. Right, so here we are at the beginning with Sarah in a new clobber. Okay, so just jumping up here and grabbing ourselves the ammo. Now, you can swap over for the assault rifle if you prefer it, but I actually prefer the faster fire rate on the SMG. Grabbing this scrap, because we're going to need it later for the bolts. And then grabbing, or well not grabbing this ammo, but opening the back up here to get ammo. And then across the way, we should have grabbed another bit of scrap there. I've forgotten to grab that. But there's a bit down there we can grab, so you don't have to grab the scrap at the back of the reg sort of uh, sedan but you can grab some down where the molotov is as well right so opening up the back here again for easy access and then running down here now we can sprint down here across all of this dirt as you can see our stamina bar going down and then just as we reach the road here if we come to a stop the sprint oh okay sorry oh. I sprint all the way. Okay, we'll just run slowly over here towards the Molotov. Now we can grab that scrap there. That wouldn't be pick upable if we picked up the scrap up on the road. Probably there's no need to grab it. You can grab it later on the run past if you need it for extra arrowheads or bolt heads. And grabbing the Molotov from up here as we've shown in previous tutorials. Right, and now we're going to have to start sorting out the bombs, obviously, and creating our little bit of a death valley. Because as we've learnt, we need a big multiplier at the beginning to sort of start the ball rolling. So... Placing this against the wall here to expand the explosion backwards. And placing one of the proximities at the front as a trigger about there. And then doing the same on this barrel with this, this side of the rock. Still not sure if that will actually block it, but just in case. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to place a proximity just up here. Now there's no explosive barrel, but they, you do sometimes get wanderers that go up there and try and flank you. And that might stop them from getting up on the side and getting ahead of us so we put those there and then we're just going to put the last one on here to expand this explosion if i can just get it on the wall there we go right and there we got all six bombs down that's creating a bit of a death zone and that should give us a nice initial multiplier now this is where we're going to change slightly from the previous tutorial as well we are going to start with the molotovs but we're only going to throw a couple and then we're going to start shooting into the crowd 
you know, before they even come up over the rise to try and, uh, or hopefully before they do, to try and get some uh, headshots. Right, so here we go. Those are both in. Let's quickly take a focus cocktail and get onto our gun while we're in slow-mo and then start to spray at roughly head height. Yes, we are clipping the dirt, I know, but we're trying to get the headshots. Sprinting through here because obviously we've created a death valley. We do not want to get caught in the explosions. And then as soon as we get here, just turning and again at head height, just sort of spraying the crowd where we can. Right, as soon as you're out of ammo, start to run, but uh, turn back obviously to get some more headshots. Be careful not to hit that tanker at that point because it will take out a wide uh, or a vast amount of them. Sorry, it's got a big explosive, very wide. Right, and then again, acquiring head height and just spraying across the actual pack. Now, I caught that there, but obviously, thankfully, I don't think there was many in, if any, around it. Right, just getting a few more shots here. Right, they're getting close. That's very, oh, that was nearly, nearly the end of that run. Okay, so coming up here and sprinting again okay, keeping an eye on our sprint now, if it drops down to halfway we're going to want to take a stamina cocktail but it was pretty good when we play the female characters to get it back and again head height and just spraying the crowd coming across to try and get those outrunners and then we can use these vehicles to slow them down a bit so again turning acquiring head sort of level and just trying to spray oh that was a bit low there okay Okay, but as you can see, the uh, sub-challenges are beginning to pop. Right, we've got to keep an eye on them. Okay, very good now on the headshots. We need 110 headshots, obviously, for the goal. We're going to get all four golds in this run, guys. All four golds in this run. This is completely possible. We can get all them and obviously get a gold rank. So five golds, technically. Again, taking a stamina and a focus because we were getting a bit low on stamina and then spraying across the head height to try and take out the front runners. Now coming in here, now we can slow down a little bit here and get some stand back. And then obviously we're sprinting through because we've just realised we've still got the uh, the cocktail active. So it's building up even while we're sprinting. And then again, head high and spraying across the crowd. And okay, there you go. There's some challenges popping right. Now we need to grab some ammo. So we're going to lead them through here. But we can just afford to trot because obviously we can see from our mini radar minimap radar sort of thing but there's nobody uh, right on top of us grabbing this ammo jumping over running through because they're going to funnel around that and you don't really want to start separating them okay and then grabbing that ammo so the gun's completely well not completely but nearly fully reloaded sorry holds 200 spare ammo really. and again just spraying at head height being very careful using the focus Taking those a like, couple of extra seconds to try and ensure that we get the head heights, uh, the, the, head, the headshots, being at head height, I should say, sorry. Trying to concentrate and talk. Right, so then running up there, and again, keeping that camera on the what, but a little bit of a wide angle, but running in a straight line so that we can make sure we're not going to be flanked. Sprinting down here to get a little bit ahead of them, then obviously conserving. We're now jogging again to conserve. And taking another focus cocktail. We've got some, so we're going to run up forward to the car, and then we're going to use the cars to actually slow them down again. And then acquiring head height and spraying the crowd. Okay, now we're getting very close to the 100 mark. We've still got 77 guys left. I think we'll just push it over the 100 with the headshots, and then we'll shift over to the crossbow. We must leave 50 people, or 50 freakers, to kill with the crossbow. And obviously, the last sort of 10 are going to be so straggly and so separated that we're really going to want to do them with the uh, explosives, guns, etc. Trying to get a multiplier at the end as well, even though it'll only be a small one, obviously. Eight, four, five, six, something like that. But you know what I mean? Every last little bit helps towards getting that very last. The last two we want to pop to give us the extra tiny bit of multiplier or whatever for extra points are going to obviously be the don't get hit and the don't roll. But as you can see, I actually think, I mean, I think it's psychosomatic as well though, but I actually think that, uh, sorry, Sarah is actually a little bit quicker because she's got longer legs. I mean, basically, she's got the same movement rate and everything as Ricky, but she seems to have longer legs and so she covers the ground quicker. It might just be psychosomatic, but again, head height, being very, very careful because obviously when you're shooting those ones, you're hitting the ones behind them with the penetration, sort of at chest height and things. So you are thinning the herd quite 
dramatically. So you have to start, when you get down to this level, you need to start being a bit more careful, taking the extra time to ensure it's headshots. Okay, we've broken the 100 mark. We're now down to 55, so now we are going to have to concentrate on getting our crossbow kills or we're not going to get all four in this run. So, just getting up here and getting ahead to get safe. Changing over to the crossbow because obviously now we're going to want our crossbow kills. We need to get 50 of these 55 as crossbow kills. And the Fleur de Lis, as I've pointed out before, does work. So now firing into the groups of them, as you can see, that got two of them. And we can get headshots with this. Okay. Again, the closer you are, the more chance you've got of getting the twos and threes. And I'm not brilliant with a crossbow, so... I mean, I am from stealth, but not running around using it as an assault rifle, so... I prefer to be at the longer range, and I suggest if you're not too confident with the crossbow, at fighting bigger groups, that you do the same thing, use the, the speed to keep distance. And again, keeping an eye on the stamina, it's dropping down to about half. So we're going to want to get into here, maybe, and start thinking about taking... Oh, no, let's make some bolts. Yep, very important. Now we'll take our stamina cocktail. And that means that we can now, because we've made bolts, we can now get trees. Or remember to stay out of that mud. Now, I've said before it's lethal. It's lethal because it pretty much slows your speed by half. But they don't seem to slow down that much in it, so they will gain on you running through the mud. So I always run on the side. And again, popping off shots. Oh, that was a nice one. There you go. Let's pop to the 110 headshots now because we've managed to pick up enough on those multiple shots. Normally it's the first or the second one that gets in the head. Like if you get a two or a three, you can quite often get one of those as a headshot and get them to rack up. And obviously I think we only needed six, was it? So, you know, we've obviously picked them up nice and early. So that's nice. So now we can just worry about getting body shots. But obviously we're trying to do this as quick as possible. So we're still aiming at the clumps, if you like. The most de densely populated areas of them to try and get multiple kills. Again, let's grab this. So that we can make more bolts when we need to. So we are obviously working our way through it all. Okay, we've got him on the outside. Let's take him out. Because he's going to get a bit close. Okay, now we're conserving by running up the little hill to use the rock so that they've got to come past all the vehicles. And then sprinting down here to get space as before. And then turning. Finding a nice clump with a line firing into it. We only got the one that time, but it was a headshot, interestingly enough. Okay, and then firing in, only one again that time. But as you can see, I'm trying to fire into the lines of them, hoping to get twos and even threes. Okay, that was another two there. But this is it's just the case now. We must stay ahead. We must not get hit. Oh, that one's getting close. That is very close. I don't like that at all. Going to have to deal with him. Oh, wow, well, we missed again. Okay, okay. It's going to have to be this time. Okay, go for the clump. Try and make up for the loss of lack of shots. In the there we go, get him. Now quickly into here, sprinting. Make some more bolts. So we're good again. Right, staying out of the mud. Okay, again, because we're now lower than half, taking another stamina cocktail, because it will build up while we can sprint. Let's sprint onto this tree. Let's right, replace some of our cedar wood so that we can remake. Don't get caught. Right. And then turn. This is a good place to actually turn and fire because they obviously got a lot of them funnel down the side here. So, again, only a one. Fortunately, it's the, it's the range. Even with the fur release. And uh, ring up at level three. Oh, he's close. Crikey. Right, let's deal with him. Okay. Okay, some distance. And obviously, it's, they're getting so thin now, I'm taking the extra time to think about it. And sometimes that is useful, and sometimes it's completely detrimental, to be honest with you. Sometimes you can overthink this. Right, I'm turning again. Oh, oh, that missed. But again, we're looking good on the score point. We're looking well, good on the scores, because obviously, we, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get a very nice gold. A very nice goal with this. As long as we don't get hit, of course. Now, running over here, because it's worth pointing out there's trees here. I probably won't need these, but I'm just going to show you. 
because if you are like me and you do miss a few shots you are going to need to know where the trees are now there is another one there but we're now able to make enough I think to do it but you could have grabbed that one I just knew they were getting a bit close because of obviously the sound getting louder and that but I'll take him out because he's a front runner I don't want him to get on me while I'm trying to aim the other side just a couple there yeah we got the three nice Oh, missed. Oh, no. No, no, I did get him. Okay. That's the one I was aiming at. I got the one behind. Right, and again, you can run just there along that side if you want that tree up there. I wasn't going for it. But I prefer to use in here as a bit of cover sort of thing and a place to take another stamina cocktail because we know we're going to get a clump of them around the police car. Get another two there. I'm squeeze another one off down here and get a couple. Oh, yep. Yeah, nice. And again, back by the side of the truck. Again, we're staying so far out. Oh, he's popped out there, you see. This is why I always get down the truck before I turn in case any of them are trying to be a bit clever. Oh, can't grab that tree. Why can't I grab it? I should need trees. Oh, I'm confused. I can't grab that tree either. What's going on? Oh, hang on. I need to make bolts first. I'm already... Ma Idiot. Okay, sorry about that guys, having a silly moment. Right, and that's a miss. Typical. Right, that one didn't, okay. And they take you. Nearly there guys, nearly there. Oh, that hit the ground, waited too long, hesitation. Right, again, doing our normal trick here, just jogging on this bit, unless, of course, you got anybody close to you. And then we would normally sprint down here for space, but they're so far away now, so spread out, that we can just stay jogging and keep our stamina up. Just taking him. Nice, we're up to 142 now. Oh, 142k now on the score, so, yeah, this is looking good. We only need 165. Are we actually going to pull a goal before we uh, finish? Surely not. Surely we won't get... No, I don't think it's even possible. Pos maybe it is, actually, if you've got a big enough... Uh, what do you call it? Multiplier at the beginning. I mean, obviously all of my tutorials on this challenge have, re have required us to get as many of the sub-challenges, if not all of them, obviously for this one, uh, as possible. But we always start it off with a nice big multiplier at the beginning to get that uh, initial... Oh, God, he's close. No, 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 no. Right, concentrate. Just because I'm talking. Take, take him. Right, okay, that's the problem gone right now. We've only got nine of them left. We're nearly there, though, guys. This is so doable. With this, I mean, so many times I've done it, and this is the point where it all goes wrong. I accidentally roll, or I get hit, or I make some silly mistake. We're creating this roof fill ourselves up. Another 15 bolts. Right, why that didn't reload automatically, I don't know, but two, nice. Nice, and can we squeeze off here and on? No, no take him instead yeah he's going to come round on us oh I don't believe we missed him right quick see that's that was my mistake I should have done it from up here by the cab it would have funneled him down there that would have been a better way but we are now f fine we've got everything so let's just finish off the last five and yeah, we should have what two left here they come Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, that should be, yeah, over 200,000. So it's a way to get over 200,000, obviously, all four golds. Right, so again, very, very happy to have uh, another gold tutorial put together showing you how to get 200 plus, how to get all the sub challenges, how to get the actual, obviously, gold rank itself. I would suggest using the female character if you haven't got access to her. Uh, Sarah then use Ricky <clears throat> you might already have found out that you can use Addy just as well I'm not sure obviously the bike skin is entirely down yourself um, although you do need to have a character skin and a bike skin equipped when getting a gold to trigger one of the actual um, trophies so it might be an idea to buy one of each and equip them 
and obviously yeah, like I say you do want to have the Fleur de Lis I mean you can do it with level 2 I did get my original golds with only the rings on level 2 but I spent the money to make them level 3 and that in itself is what let me get the uh, all 4 golds in one run now it's not impossible with silvers not impossible at all um, but it was easier with gold obviously so again if you might have to go back onto your previous challenges and maybe get all your sub challenges done on those and etc to get the extra credits I really hope that it helps any of you guys and girls that actually haven't managed to get gold yet I hope this really does I mean please leave a comment in the section below if there's anything you need help with you know if there's something I mean maybe I can put something together to help you if there's if you've got any suggestions or things you'd like to see me do or try um, anything at all you know leave a comment I mean but at the same time if you need help please do ask I will answer I really will I will answer it I'll try to answer every single comment so I mean if you've got a question ask it and I will answer okay guys and girls but that's all for this episode thank you for watching and if you haven't already please remember to hit that like button it really does help the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel then please remember to hit that subscribe button for regular episodes on the games we all have to play and also please remember to hit that bell for notifications of our latest episodes and as I say please do feel free to leave a comment in the section below especially if it's a question a suggestion uh, a hint or a tip, anything at all that relates to this game or to these, this episode. And a huge thank you to all of you who have already subscribed. Your support is awesome, guys and girls. I mean, really awesome. And so are all of you. So, you mean so much to me, it really does. Okay, so thanks once again for watching. Take care and keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next episode, which will be one continuing the story. Laters, guys and girls.